Hello there. Welcome to the channel again. It's your host Amy from Pen Venture, and I'm here, of course, with another fun pen review. We are going to take a closer look at the latest and greatest from Leonardo Officina Italiana. And they are just awesome. Each and every new collection, new pen is simply amazing. The latest project that they launched is named the Cuspid. The name of the project takes reference from the Latin word which is used to describe the piercing tip of the spear, when all of the edges are coming together to form that very, very sharp and pointy end. This collection is named like that because you will see in the reference pictures that this pen has something in common with all of those edges. I haven't received the box of the pen and I will show you what we have here. This is the latest Leonardo Cuspid. It's simply amazing. It is a new model from Leonardo. It has different measurements, a different feel and look. We're going to showcase every detail of this collection then we will put the pen side by side with different pens so you grasp the measurements and the overall shape of the pen. And in the end, we will have a writing sample with this piece. The Cuspid collection is made of four different colors. The one that I have here is called Mineral Gray. And there are three more which I'm going to insert some pictures because I don't have them in stock right now. And those are Olive Green, Nochola, Blue Sea, and the fourth one is Mineral Grey, which I have it right here. This pen is a limited edition of 70 pieces for each color. It's available in both trim options, rhodium or gold. The key point of this collection is the resin. I would like to show you this beautiful, beautiful layered resin. We all know Arco Celluloid and it's something special, but I have yet to see something that comes so, so near and close to Arco Celluloid. This resin is specially designed by Leonardo Officina Italiana in collaboration with a manufacturer. It's amazing. It's not only poured, but also assembled because it is assembled in sheets of material. Then it is cut oblique in order to have this gradient pattern of layers that are coming together and forming ripples into the actual resin. Now let's analyze the details of this model. We have the ends, which are dome shaped. Then we have the usual Leonardo Officina Italiana clip, which is elastic and has this wheel and you can use it very, very easy to clip the pan. Then we have the cap ring which is formed of two smaller rings and a larger band in the middle. You will find this exact pattern on the Speranza collection. And this is only done for 2020 to remember this troubled year. Moving forward, we have the cap ending and this is done with a step down. It is not flushed. Now we have one complete turn and three quarters. And we are going to uncap the pan. The nib that you will find on the Cuspid collection is the size six, 14 karat gold nib, available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad stub in two specialty nibs, the music nib and the elastic fine nib. The nib is friction fitted and it has an ebonite feed, which is in-house cut by Leonardo Officina Italiana. And they are simply amazing, very practical. 
and you will see the performances in the writing sample. I have on this one a 14 karat fine nib. Then we move forward and we have the section. And this is a new section. And of course, I like that it's different. And this is the shape of the section. It starts with this area right here, which is going to prevent your fingers from slipping towards the nib. Then we have a slightly tapering surface towards the nib. And those are the threads. For the Cuspid, they are made in metal. Then we have the barrel of the pen. And this is where things are starting to change a little bit more. And it starts to flare out a little bit. But if you expect to be at the thickest point in the middle right here, it's not. It's a little bit back. And this tiny change gives out a huge difference in the writing experience. Although it is a big pen, it doesn't feel like that. You actually see that the thickest part of the barrel will sit far behind your grip and it will rest right here on your hand. And this way you will feel that you have an oversized pen, but it's light, it's nimble, and it's very interesting and I just simply love it. Moving forward, we have the barrel flushing in towards the ring that we have here. And this ring has the exact engraving which we find on the cap ring. Very interesting and nice feature. Moving forward, we have the piston knob. And this pan is equipped with the 2020 piston filling mechanism from Leonardo and it has a huge, huge ink capacity. Trust me, you will get bored from the ink color long before this pen will be empty. And it will be available from the first week of September for everyone. Meaning that if you place your pre-order now, you will get it in the first week of September. Well, this is the pen. Let's put it side by side with different pens get a feel for the overall size of this piece. Then, of course, we will have a writing sample with this pen and in the end, I will share you my opinion on it. Here is the Cuspid standing next to other pen models. From left to right, we have the Visconti Medici, Lamy All Star, Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande Coffee, the Cuspid, Leonardo Officina Italiana Blue Abyss Furore, and Visconti Homo Sapiens Pen Venture Exclusive. Now I would like to give you some measurements. Length of the pen closed 148 millimeters. The length of the pen body from the tip of the nib to the piston knob 134 millimeters. The diameter of the section where we grip the pen is 12.5 millimeters. And the total weight of the pen is 30 grams uninked and the weight of the body without ink is 19.5 grams. Leonardo speed. The ink is KVZ. Grapefruit. The nib is fourteen carat gold fine. And now let's do the well known sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now let's do some flex to see if it performs in that regards. It does have some line variation but I consider this a stiff nib. Now let's try a wetness test 
and this is a medium, medium wet flow. Now let's try some reverse, quite scratchy and dry. And I think this is it. I hope you enjoyed the riding sample with the Coup Speed. And what can I say more? I would like to see other brands taking the same approach in designing interesting features, new materials, and overall to evolve in regards of their design. Don't get me wrong, but my opinion is that this is the definition of evolution in regards of writing instruments. We have a new shape completely taken from scratch. We have a new material, and when I say new material, it's not like a different color, but it is a material which is designed by the pen manufacturer to have a fresh look, an interesting look, it mimics the visual aspects of the arco celluloid and it's simply amazing. What can I say? This is what we have in front of us and I will personally add this pen in this color and in this trim option and nib to my personal pen collection. Well, I think this is it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you did so, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Pen Venture YouTube channel. If you want to own a Cuspid, you will find down below the links for each individual color. You can go there, place your order according to the color that you want, the trim option that you like and the nib size. And they will be delivered in the first week of September. My name is Amy and I'll look forward to seeing you next video.